Hi, this is Pete, M0PSX, from Essex Ham, with a short video about the Amateur Radio Foundation course and online exam. In 2019, our team helped newcomer to the hobby, Gareth Mitchell, to get his Foundation licence. I caught up with Gareth just after his exam. Gareth already has several years of radio experience under his belt, as a presenter on BBC Radio. Yes, on the BBC World Service, so I present a programme called Digital Planet, so it's all about technology and we go out every week and um, I've become, bizarrely, a BBC presenter without any formal training whatsoever. But in order to go on air on 20 metres and say CQ, CQ, I've had to sit an exam, which I've just done. Excellent, and uh, you've done some practicals, so we spent some time with you at uh, Broadcasting House. Can you cast your mind back to what you did there? Yes, I can, and that, what a fun afternoon that was. So as part of my foundation licence, one has to do a number of practicals. So the first one, as I remember, was tuning a dipole, and uh, with a, a bit of help from you, and uh, indeed uh, other members of, of the G8 BBC club and the, the shack, yeah, it was just getting that uh, SWR ratio of one to one with my uh, with the dipole and uh, then also I had to make a call and as you'll probably remember it was very quiet out there on um, well we tried 20 and 40 meters didn't we for quite some time but eventually made contact with a very patient uh, amateur in France as I remember and uh, managed to exchange the um, uh, the, the, the details, the relevant details and uh, legibility and uh, audibility and so on. and um, So that, that worked well. Oh, and then Morse code appreciation as well. So. You enjoyed the Morse, didn't you? Actually, had a lot of fun with that. Absolutely loved it, yeah. I, I really did. More, more than I thought I would do. I mean, I've, of course, I was incredibly slow, but just the, using that as another mode of communicating, I, I found very, very enjoyable. Excellent. And of course, today's been the exam, so you've been studying online. How was your uh, online studying? Uh, the online studying was rather excellent thanks to the Essex Ham course that I um, very studiously followed. Uh, but no, quite genuinely, it was, it was, there was more to it than I thought there would be, I must admit. I thought um, amateur radio, foundation level, I doubt whether I'll need to know Ohm's Law, for instance, but there was all that. And, uh, you know, this was a fairly meaty set of nine uh, tutorials with a couple of mock exams on the way. Um, the learning being reinforced through the end of module quick test and then of course those mocks and yeah there was there was a lot to it you know i've spent quite a lot of time revising for the exam as well but the course material walked me through it really well so when i came and sat the exam today i, I really of course i was a bit nervous because it's under exam conditions and i've not done an exam for a long time having said that what confidence i did have was thanks to the course that just walked me so well through what i needed to know for this foundation so you've just sat the exam and you sat an online exam as well, none of this paper stuff, sat, sat there with a laptop doing it. How did you actually find the, the process of the exam? Uh, I found it really good. Uh, for one thing, the, uh, the RSGB sends you the software, it's an app basically you put onto your laptop for the exam and, and you get that a few days in advance and it gives you a tutorial on just how to use the exam. And I thought, oh, you know, why, why would you need to do a tutorial? But it turned out actually to be quite useful just so that all that stuff about navigating around the screen, being confident that you'd selected the right answer and that it had been registered. All that stuff that you'd probably fret about under the pressure of an exam had just been done in advance. So it was almost like an exam on doing the exam. So once I came in here, it loaded up on the laptop, the app worked okay, I clicked my way through it, I was able to then go back and check my answers and, um, and then clicked submit and then, and of course, the, almost, well, effectively, instantaneously, it then gave me a provisional, and it is provisional, I guess, until the grown-ups back at HQ have checked it, but I have been given a provisional pass, so definitely a good day at the office. Excellent, so congratulations, well done. You now begin that lovely wait for the call sign, yes. uh, and then you're on. Yeah, well, absolutely, and I, and I really cannot wait, I genuinely cannot wait. I'm really impatient to get that, that call sign, and, um, you know, and, and, and self-identify around that call sign. It actually really means a lot. And might I say, Peter, you know, you've just been a fantastic tutor as well. I know you'll, you'll hate me saying it, but, but genuinely, you know, you've been so patient and always there on the end of my sometimes fretful emails, very patiently when you've got a million and one other things to do. So I have felt fantastically well supported through the whole process. So I'm very happy. Super. Well, welcome to the hobby, officially, yes. and uh, look forward to working you on air. Yes, me too. <laughs> 73, is that, is that right? This feature was brought to you by Essex Ham, supporting amateur radio in Essex.